Good morning, virtual learners. For reading today, we are starting on our journey practice book. We're going to actually start with page 178, so you can cross out 177. And then you can flip to 178, and it says, spelling words with I, G, H, Y, and I, E. It says, write the correct word to complete each sentence. So you're going to go through and read these sentences and find which of these three words best completes that sentence. So for example, number one, please turn on the blank. Does cried, light, or pie go in there? Sort of. Light. Please turn on the light. So you will write L-I-G-H-T on the line. Okay? I'm going to let you finish two, three, four, and five, and then we will go over those together. All right, number one we said is light. Number two, can someone read that sentence and the word that goes in there? Adam, go ahead. Have you seen my book? Have you seen my book? Okay, my. Number three. Vivian. Good. The baby cried in her crib. C R I E D. Good. Number four. Logan. Number four, yep. Good. Make sure to dry the dishes. Good. C R Y. Number five, Parker. Good, we went to a great play last night. Good. A play, like when you go see a play, like people are acting in a play, like they put on a play. All right, number one, or I'm sorry, number one on page 179 says to write the correct pronoun to finish each sentence. We've done lots of work with pronouns. So, I'm going to do the first example with you, and then you're going to finish two through five. Number one, is the yellow kite your or yours? How? Yours with an S. Good, that means it belongs to you. Okay? You're going to finish two, three, four, and five on your own, and then we will go over those ones also. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and go over these ones. Number two, can someone read that one for us? Taylor. Good, that is her type, with just an H-E-R, no S. Good, number three. Alana. That name is Rex. Good, Rex put away his type. Okay, when you are reading these, sometimes if you switch it with the other words, you can tell it doesn't need text. Like, Rex put away few types. That doesn't sound right at all. Number four, Isabel. Good. Would you like to play at my house? And the last one, number five, Christian Kay. Good. You can fly the kite that is mine. Good. Good job. All right, we have one last page, page 180 today. And it says, some adjectives describe nouns about, by telling about taste, smell, sound, or feel, like we talked about. The example is, I feel the cool breeze. It says, revise each sentence and use the pre proofreading mark to add an adjective. So we have the words sweet, fresh, happy, and soft. Those are our four adjectives. So we're going to insert one of these adjectives just using this. We're going to use this like little arrow and then put the word right above it. So it says, Mr. B shares some honey. What word could we use to describe that honey? What? No, what word from this box? Sweet, fresh, happy, soft. Sweet, right. So we're going to put a little arrow like that. And then we're going to write the word sweet, just like that, in that sentence, to show that that's where the word sweet should go. Number two, the frog gave a croak. How can we describe that croak? Colin? Happy. Yeah, the frog gave a happy croak. Put a little arrow and write the word happy. Number three. 
number three, we sit on the grass. Logan? Soft. We sit on the soft grass. Good. Soft. Over there. And number four, we enjoy the air. Where? Fresh. We enjoy the fresh air. Look at that arrow and then look the way. All right, that is our last page for journeys today for this week, actually. So you can, if you would like, tear out those pages and put them and keep at home. Or friends at home, you can keep it in your book. It is up to you. But we will see you later. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Bye.